Jenny and Blake love living in Brooklyn, New York. But with a two-year-old and another baby on the way, they're quickly outgrowing their small one-bedroom apartment. With their $600,000 budget, Jenny and Blake are ready to make an offer on this house, a four-bedroom ranch in New Rochelle, New York, that's listed at $599,000. But is this the absolute best house for the Eastmans? Before this couple makes an offer, two brokers will each have one shot to beat the house. JoJo Jones sells with her heart. Christopher Cromer sells with his head. This comes significantly under budget. It's gonna save you guys a lot of money. His goal, to find the Eastmans the best home their money can buy. As a broker, I understand that buying a home is one of the biggest and most important purchases a person's ever gonna make. My job is to help them find the best possible investment for their family and their future. I'm the guy you want in your corner. I'm gonna make sure you guys are well taken care of. My plan is to find them a home that really suits their needs and i want to make sure it's really at an affordable price and is a good investment for them this home that they're looking at now it's already at the top end of their budget they're paying too much for too much house i want to find something that's comfortably under budget and gives them enough room to invest with i'm looking for a house for the eastmans that has three bedrooms two baths trying to stay under 5.99 nice and bright mm -hmm. very nice so finally after a lot of searching i was able to find the perfect listing I don't think this is something the couple would have found because they were really only focusing on more expensive houses. There's no way they're not going to love this. Hi, guys. Hi. Come on into the kitchen. All right. Wow. Nice. So I see why you guys like the house you picked, and I understand the concern of a growing family and a shrinking apartment. However, a lot of first-time buyers feel pressured to buy the largest house they can afford, but it's not always the best investment. You guys are maxing out your budget. And the best part of all is the price. This is just under 480,000. Okay. Now that's wow. over 120,000 you guys are saving. The, ki the kitchen is nice. Beautiful eat-in chef's kitchen. It's got new cabinetry. It's got fantastic appliances. Yeah. And you remember the kitchen in the house that you guys picked yep. had an electric stove. Yes. Not great for the chefs. Not at all. This has a this six is burner our ideal gas stove. stove. That's our ideal stove, for sure. Jenny and Blake are loving this eat-in kitchen, and it's not surprising because 85% of home buyers look for this feature in a new home. It'll be great for resale value. To me, it's much better because I really didn't like the tile in, um, in the house that we chose. Uh -huh. This is much more preferred for in my taste. Yeah, it definitely is an upgrade from the other house. Yeah, all right. Check out the living room. It's a great sized room just off the kitchen. You can use it as a living room, a playroom for the kids. I could totally see this as a playroom, and I love that it's right off the kitchen. All right, so here we have your living room. OK. They're using this right now as a game room, but it's easily workable for a living room. It's got that beautiful bay window. And if you recall, the house that you guys picked, that had a bay window, but that sat rather low. This, what I really love, you can turn this into a nice seated area there, yeah, which would be yeah. really yeah. nice. Yeah, this room is nice. So when we were coming in, I heard a little bit of noise outside. I heard, a, I think it was a highway. It seemed like a major highway. Is that close to the house? We are close to a highway. However, the house is situated in a cul-de-sac, so you get very little through traffic in front of the house. I thought this would be a slam dunk, but they were concerned this is pretty close to the highway. So I thought I'd really wow them with how big the master bedroom is and how it's got their ensuite master bath. All right, check out this master bedroom suite. It's definitely big. I like that. Complete with walk-in closet. Oh. Bam. Wow. OK. This Look is at the size great. of that. That's nice. This can definitely fit my stuff. Right? All right, now. Three steps from your king size bed, and bam, ensuite master bath. Okay. Right? This is what you were looking for. Yeah, it's a little small. <laughs> a little small. You got a bathtub, a shower, you even got a window. I thought they'd be really impressed by having an ensuite bath, but they're a little concerned about the size of it. It's got everything you need, but they're all tiny and they're all on top of each other. But it's in your master bedroom. Okay, okay. I don't think they realize what a great value this home is. A master bedroom with ensuite bath and a walk-in closet are two of the top five must-haves for buyers today. The house they want to buy doesn't have either of these things. Now the Eastmans must choose. Will Christopher or JoJo be able to beat the house? We finally come to a decision. Chris, you know, with your house, we really, really liked that great chef's kitchen, and it had that great room right off the kitchen where we can watch the kids play if we made that into a playroom. It also had a master bathroom. But on the other hand, there was a really, really big 
negative for us, which was it being so close to the highway. It is a little bit of a safety issue for us. We really thought long and hard about this um, because we were presented with two really, really great options. And I think we finally come to a decision. And? And the decision is... We're going with JoJo's house. <laughs> I can't believe JoJo, of all people, beat me on the budget. That's never going to happen again.